Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. My facial hair looks like shit. I'm on the phone with RJ right now. We're making us some plans to go to Portland tomorrow. He thinks that I'm gonna be late. He thinks he's gonna be outside waiting for me tomorrow. And I'm gonna be Not ready tomorrow at 5.30. AM. 99% of the time, I'm there and I'm waiting for 20 to 30 minutes. Every time. 99% of the time? Every time. That doesn't make any sense, dumb dumb. Go back to prison. Oh, <laughs> it's 5.30 in the morning and I just want you guys to know something. Something about RJ, 99% of the time, he is wrong every time. <laughs> All right, got a couple of things. We got this USA made double knee car hearts. You know the double knees are good for one thing and one thing only, and that is hard work, baby. Little motocross tee. The coolest thing I found though was this right here. Rebel skates. I'm not quite sure what this is from, but it is on a blue bar guild in early 2000s. For any police officers watching my videos, this individual right here just tried to sell me these Narcotics. Oh, that is crazy. Um, what's your full name? Anyways, we found a multivitamin on the ground and uh, could be laced. We are parking lot pimping. I just bought this little pile right here for 70 bucks off these two guys. Appreciate you. He actually found a box logo in the bins the other day. He's got to send me some pictures. Cool little Carhartt right here. Made in the US and A. You see that crafted with pride. Blanket lined corduroy collar. And then he even threw this in. What a gentleman, a scholar, a nice guy. Left came back. USA made Carhartts. However, there is, of course, a little bit too much access. And two gorgeous Carhartts. Look at the wash and the corduroy collar on this absolutely scrumptious looking Carhartt with some ever so strategically placed nut stains or paint stains. And then we got this faded black Carhartt. This one's a quilted line with a little patch right here. RJ found these absolutely gorgeous concrete colorway. Yeah, these 990s are actually sexy as shit though, Loki. Look at that just beautiful elephant suede. More like a hippo suede, but... Shut the f Currently waiting on the next band. I think we might have like one or two more rotations before it's time to go. Break is at one, and at one, I want to go to cams. Got these beautiful hippo colorway New Balance. It's elephant. Hey, can we go to cams after this? Let's go. All right, fire. All right, we got a decent stack of stuff. Also, one of the jackets actually had Los Drogas. Oh, yeah. Next location, baby. picture man today's bin's not good not good what is this <sighs> all right well on to the next adventure just bought this beautiful bag of my boy alice adult friend finder him is uh taking us through some of his personal collection this is official nike yeah they got wait is it here. actually yeah, <laughs> that's they funny took it off the shelves the 6.0 hotel from uh tony hawk oh dang i like these nirvanas you gonna have a kid anytime soon uh no don't think so nope nope and no Cool. Hey, you guys might remember this lovely shirt. That's a beautiful one. Grindhouse. Oh, I have a dope Mickey I want to show you, but he's wearing like a tie-dye. He's like, hi, he's got dreads. Oh, that's sick. I like that one. This is fire. After much deliberation, I'm going to be trading a shining tee. The tee that I wore in a recent video for this absolutely gorgeous Kurt Cobain. It's like technically I'm paying 60 cents for this because I binsed the shining and I'm trading to Cam who's been wanting that tee for like over a year now. This is freaking sick. That shining tee is probably more rare but this means a little bit more to me personally. I'm going to be sad to see that tee leave my collection but I'm going to be happy to see this one. Join the collection. Shout out my boy Cam. Shout out my boy Alex. Shout out my boy RJ. Shout out my boy on the couch. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, me and RJ gotta go back up north and hopefully hit some thrifts before they close. Hell yeah. All right, next day my boy RJ pulled up. Hey, look what he brought me. Ooh, welcome to the world of Windows 95. Microsoft on the Onita and then there's some other things that I left in here last night. But I also got some gifts for him. So if you guys remember in the last episode. Hawaiian strength. I wish this was the Filipino. Irish. He sold me a Hawaiian strength tea and then I actually picked up this Filipino strength tea. And then I got another thing for you. I dyed it ever so slightly. It was one of my first dye practices and I think it's gonna mean a lot to you. Spoil me. <laughs> what the, what the like, what is this? <laughs> Washington he's Correction a he's, Center. <laughs> he's a piece of shit. Hey, low key kind of hard though. Hey, and look you, at the dye job. Are, the dye job's actually kind of sick. It's like a cream color. You want to know what's funny about this? Is, I think I give these to the, the actual employees because we didn't get these. <laughs> a reminder to never go back. Anyways. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Probably going to burn. Hey. I show up. He leaves. <laughs> 
going on? We're back at it. Booty pulled up in the Prius, the gas saving essential. This airplane's trying to mess up my audio. Just got done thrifting for like an hour. I found these three things. The rest of this bag was purchased off the homie Zach, who's also gonna sell me his Supreme Posse hat soon. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wanna show you guys. One of my favorite ones from this pile. There's some cool stuff that I got off him, but this Austin Powers is so sexy. I'm kind of hoping this fits because that's a banger. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. The colors on it are just gorgeous. There's a couple other bangers that I'll show you guys later in the video, but yeah, shout out to the homie Zach, man. And I still got to go and buy some more stuff for my boy Isaiah as well. Bunny is today. <laughs> Isaiah bought me some uh, stuff to check out. I hit him up about this. This is hilarious. I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of faded, but it says, the buffaloes are coming. And, uh, yeah. It's buffalo love. <laughs> These buffaloes. Just mounting the other one. This right here, the hail track. This is actually my brother's last name. My brother who passed away. Rest in peace. Then this right here may look a little familiar because I got it on. Don't let your girl see his video. He's about to take this off. Yeah, bro, I found this blue one in Sacramento so long ago. This is just such an awkward print. I wish it just didn't have that. I feel like I could peel it off. Yeah, the color's super fire on it, and it fits hella nice. What'd you want for this one? 30 bucks. Will you do 20 for this? I'll do 25. So 65? Yeah. Okay, bet. I know my apartment looks like an absolute disaster, but of course I just posted a bunch of items to the site and anytime I do a thrift sale on Thrift Row, we got a ton of orders, so I spent all night packaging. I still have to photograph and measure these items. Those items are still in stock. And of course these lovely items have to go to the post office. So thank you to everyone that placed an order. Before we go to the post office, gotta grab my coffee. No more buying Starbucks. Anyways, let's see if my bad luck continues. All right, a little late. It's windy as shit, it's cold. 30% of Carhartts have either a rip in the ass region, crotch region, obviously worn by construction workers and vintage enthusiasts alike. <laughs> you gonna rock this? A little Sonic joint. It was a little bit better. Got a little vintage Woolrich, a couple vintage tees, nothing too crazy. Remember, tomorrow I might need you for the cover photo so that way you can try to resemble Cam as much as possible. If not, then I have to have Isaiah resemble Cam. I mean, I Cam. yeah, you guys kind of look alike. Cam's a little, my brother. Yeah. <laughs> Skirt. Later. Yeah, and on this episode of Hoarders, the storage unit is getting out of hand. We got bins, 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 bins. Bins to make a day. And bags full of clothes. The majority of this is vintage. I believe the tees I'm looking for are in one of these stacks. I'm looking for some nature tees, like really dope wraparound prints, maybe some all over print nature tees. So that way I can try to curate a bunch of different pieces for the website. That was not your mother texting you to tell you to like the video, but it was actually a tweet. So I'm gonna turn my notifications off. For the last job, I did a bunch of hot rod tees. And the reason I'm trying to do a bunch of similar style tees is so that way, if someone wants a type of tee, they should just wait for that type of drop and then hopefully they will be able to get their hands on it. A lot of the stuff on the website sells out super fast. I dropped like over 150 pieces yesterday. I was up till like two in the morning packaging orders. So thank you to everyone that did purchase an order. There still may be a couple items left on the site. Of course, the website and the Instagram will be in the description down below. It's not gonna be fun sorting through all these clothes for each release, but I'm enjoying the uh, themed releases. Anyways. I'll see you guys tomorrow, next day of thrifting at the Goodwill Outlet. I'm supposed to actually link up with RJ here because we got to go to Seattle. I'm currently also on the phone with another thrift legend himself. Paul, show yourself. There we go. My boy Paul can't two in the building. What's up, guys? This is get you hella bitch. <laughs> Piles looking good. We got some linen over here. We got some textile over here. Yo, I never been to the Harley Davidson motorcycle store in Baghdad. Yo. Gotta bag that cash. <laughs> you see the Ford shirt. This shirt is not built for tough. Look at that. Oh my God. Someone had their appendix removed through the t-shirt. And then we got the uh, vintage Columbia. Little Carhartt joint. Ripley's Believe It or Not hoodie. Almost everything in this cart will be thrown back. Ooh, Element hoodie. Yo, this is the Drizzy Drake Rogers collaboration. You got the center swoosh with the little scorpion on there. RJ's on his way. Waiting on one. One more bin. I did find a little blank Toltex. Why are you untangling it? No, no, no. I gotta retangle it all the way from the circle now. <laughs> my boy RJ pulled up. My local bins has been absolute trash lately, so uh, we're going to Seattle, which is probably one of the best places, except Portland. Like, I love thrifting I'm, I'm in Seattle. Here. That's why. Well, actually, I just really want to go to Seattle, too, and I want to spend time with my best friend! Yeah! I haven't been here in a while. Hopefully, it's actually hidden. There's a lot more competition, but there's also a lot more heat. I just rarely ever come here because it's a drive in. Like I said, there's a lot more competition. All right, more bins coming out. We got a couple little things. I found you a grill. Look. Oh my goodness. Hold, bro. All right, let me get my solo shot. Uh, this might be the cover photo right here. Yeah, well, hey. 
screenshot. <laughs> the vintage Lynn and the free tee. Man, size large. Ooh, good tag. This is this is just here. the L tag. This is just <laughs> This is the tag with just the size on the front. Made in China, 100% cotton. No half ass and shit. Black colorway, land of the free, home of the bread. You got the big eagle print on the front. For those of you guys that don't know, this is kind of like a meme in vintage or like in thrifting. These come out all the time. Oh, you don't really, you guys really don't fuck with this? Oh, you actually, you actually like it? I actually rock these. Like I'm gonna put it on before this video. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Alexa from the warranty division. Me and yeah, I drive a 2022 Lamborghini. Do you own any other vehicles? Yeah, I own a lot of vehicles. You want all of them? We'll be here all day. How much time do you have? Because it's a long list. Thank you for thinking this call. You have a great night. Awesome. <laughs> she ain't having it. RJ will pick up every single scam call and uh, he will instantly drive a Lamborghini. What do you mean? Your car is close to a Lamborghini. You want that? Yeah, I'll take that for sure. Independent? Bronco Ooh, that's fire, Bronco Busters. This is actually a good one. Probably the first good thing I've seen. Got my little pile. This is actually my favorite tee, a little nature tee. Wasn't the best, but still got some stuff. <sighs> All right, so we got some stuff. This is just from the last two days. We got that pile. Some of the stuff that I found in this video has already been posted to the site. I still have to photograph some of the items. I got this Mickey crew neck, reverse weave, a Stussy hoodie with some cool paint stains or nut stains, whichever you prefer. Some of these are personals. I'm actually gonna discuss some of those tees later on because I want to discuss some of the pickups from this video. First, I'm gonna discuss my favorite pickups from the video, and then I'm going to discuss the pieces that I'm deciding to keep. There are some pieces in this little recap that you guys have not seen yet. That being said, the first portion will include some of the pieces that are going to get posted to Thrift Row over the next couple weeks. So make sure you follow Thrift Row on Instagram. It's T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. I know you guys can spell, but just in case, there'll be somewhere on the screen in the description down below, along with a link to the website. Also, while you're down there, check out the website and the Instagram. It would be really much appreciate it if you smash the like button in this video because I have not been asking in the beginning of the videos and it's really hard not to do because uh, usually that affects the likes a little bit negatively. This tee right here, I actually kind of want to keep this. It's a vintage billabong tee, USA made, single stitch on an old billabong tag. I mean, unless you like surf or something, you might not really care about it. I don't know. I think it's sick. I got this Motofest tee. I actually bought this off the homie when I was in the parking lot. Super cool. I might end up selling one of my personal dirt bike tees. Little Nike tee on the white tag. I got some vintage crew next so i got a couple reverse weaves i got this reverse weave right here which is kind of cool this has that little clean embroidery i got this reverse weave as well university of saint thomas these are the old 90s reverse weaves too i got this vintage russell athletic the neck on this is kind of crazy you got the little center hit right here three nine screen print then you have the armpit gussets which is kind of sick if you look right here these old reverse weaves have the whole side gusset down the ribs. Probably like 80s. This one is six. This is actually a gift from uh, the homie that goes to the bins. It's actually a woman's Woolrich, beautiful purple colorway. I actually have another Woolrich that I've been wearing way too much, but I rarely ever see Woolrich in these crazy neon colors. This would be more like a Columbia colorway or even maybe a Patagonia colorway, but yeah, Woolrich, cool little vintage patch right there. This one I may not sell, it might stay in the personal. I found this in the bins. This is a 1983 Journey World Tour T. I just wish this was a regular t-shirt. Why does this have to be this like ridiculous little muscle tee? The 1998 Austin Powers tee. Oh my god, that thing is gorgeous. No crazy big hit, but I actually kind of like the fact that it's a little bit more clean. I got this Jurassic Park tee. <laughs> this Homer Simpson got beer tee. Kind of sick. Uh, I got some vintage single stitch liquid blue tie-dye tees. Yeah, this one's a banger. Look at that. Guitar Hero tee. I actually have another one of these in the storage unit. I'm gonna have to post these together for all my planetarian astronomizing individuals. This is a sick one. It's actually a early 2000s skate brand, Rebel Skates. I just thought this graphic was super sick. Found it in the bins. Here's like another surf style tee. The border is actually like a puff print as well. And it is on a beautiful Onita tag. This is like an early 2000s reverse weave, but it's the school of hard knocks. There should be a Toltex crew neck in here. Where's that Toltex? Okay, I can't find it. I also, I got this Carhartt that's gonna get sold as well. I sold some Carhartts, but. Oh, is, wait, is this? No, that's not it. Here's a Pro Spirit blank. This is a beautifully faded garment. Triple XL though, so a little bit big for your boy because I'm not a triple XL. But getting to some of the personal pickups, obviously the absolute banger that I got for my personal collection is 
this. Now, I'm really curious to see what you guys say. Let me know in the comments whether or not you think I walked out with a good trade. It's gonna kind of depend on what you like or what your interests are and also your opinions on vintage and value. I mean, this is definitely, I don't know, there's more hype around this tee. There's more demand for it. More people want this particular tee, but this t-shirt was a production tee. There were a lot of these made in the 90s as opposed to this t-shirt, which is a lot more rare. Now, I found this in the thrift. I paid less than a dollar for it and did a straight trade for this. I really want both and this t-shirt does mean a lot to me. I remember watching The Shining with my mom and just kind of some of those older movies like that, Ghost, Beaches, kind of random because Beaches and Ghost are really nothing like The Shining. Those old movies do have some nostalgia for me and I like that t-shirt a lot, but it does not mean as much to me as this t-shirt right here. Obviously, you have a picture of Kurt Cobain, rest in peace. You have the years that he was alive and then of course on the back, you have a painting from Kurt Cobain. Gorgeous t-shirt, one that I've wanted in my personal, but I did not want to pay the resale price because they go for like $1,000. So yeah, you guys let me know what you think about that trade. That's obviously one of the biggest bangers. Another huge banger for me, or at least one of my favorite pickups is uh, this absolutely gorgeous Welcome to Windows 95 t-shirt on the Onita, single stitch of course. You have the Windows 95, where did you want to go hit on the back. It fits perfect and uh, it was also a gift from my homie RJ, so I appreciate you. I got a couple other personals. I got this right here. You guys may have seen me post this on the Instagram, Thrift Row, T-H-R-I-T-R-O-W. If you did, uh, I apologize. I did didn't end up posting it. So uh, fun fact, the 68, 69 Camaro is my mom's favorite muscle car. She's always wanted one. She's had a couple different Camaros, little Berlinetta. She had like a 74. She had this one and this one. But yeah, it just has all these different years of the uh, Chevrolet Camaro. And I just thought it was cool. It says Street Huggers, 1994. Like I said, I like hot rod tees and uh, I put this one on the site. I was ready to let it go because I have a couple that I've added to the collection recently. I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't part with it. So last minute I was like, nah, I'm gonna add that to the collection. I took another hot rod tee from my collection and added that to the sale. Anytime I add something to the collection, I try to take something away. This right here is a Honda t-shirt. <laughs> yes, a Honda t-shirt. This is probably the most badass Honda shirt I've ever seen. I thought it was super sick. My first like nice car that I took a loan out for was a Honda Civic, which at the time I was like so excited to get a Honda Civic. Honestly, I just wanted a t-shirt that's from Honda that I like to wear to commemorate when I went down to the bay with RJ and met the homie Mad Dog, which you guys see sometimes at the end of these videos when I insert this. You think I'm gonna fuck with a bucket that's gonna break down on me? Yeah. You know, Honda? I don't give a fuck who you is, you gonna break down on me. A real Honda. So yeah, you already know, real Honda, gotta have this t-shirt. I have another Honda t-shirt, which is actually a motocross tee. I'll probably end up selling now that I have this one because I like this tee a little bit better. Then we got this one that you guys saw me buy off Isaiah. This has the buffaloes are coming. And as you can see, this lovely muscular buffalo is just mounted on this <laughs> buffalo with eyelashes. It's so random, man. Some of these 80s graphics are hilarious. While I was buying stuff from Isaiah, he mentioned that he had a Tacoma crew neck. He sent me a picture. I already had one, but I like this color a little bit better. And what I think I'm gonna have to do, because I do not like how white this little participation star is, I think I'm gonna cut this out and then re-sew it together. It'll kind of give it like a DIY grunge look. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't like how it pops so much. So I don't know. I, I need to get some thread that matches that color. Those are some of the personals. I also copped this pair of sweatpants, kind of random. These are actually a little bit newer, but just some nice reverse weaves. I got these for, depending on weight, probably like two bucks. Don't sleep on the thrifts, man. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a little bit dry for me lately. I know it might look like I got a good amount, but you gotta think I go literally every single day and this is over the course of like two and a half weeks. Obviously I missed a video last week. I'm sorry. I was actually waiting for a package for my next video, I hope. Yeah, I'm still waiting on those packages, but I think they're gonna come this week. Hint, it has to do with this. Anyways, hopefully you guys smash the like button down below. Like I said, stay persistent in the thrift. You might go once or twice or three times or four times. You might go for two weeks straight and not find anything, but if you stay persistent, eventually you'll find some heat. So keep hunting, keep thrifting. Hopefully you guys get out and find some stuff. Of course, if you guys would like to purchase any of the stuff that I find, make sure you check out Thrift Row. I will leave the Instagram and the website in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for the support. The support on thrifting has been crazy and I've sincerely appreciated it because thrifting is some of my favorite content to make, and I'm so glad that I can kind of get back to my roots of YouTube and keep making this type of content. Anyways, thank you guys so much. The last third video will be somewhere up here, and uh, yeah, keep them the star life. Peace. Star life, Chris, say shooting on meds. God, these thoughts been ran through. God damn it. And my brother is that guy. You know me, Jacob. You're a star.